Hello, welcome all. Welcome in another important video. Now, here in this video, we'll be looking into another important topic in a Node.js. In our previous video, we saw some basic concepts related to socket programming. We saw how events in a socket programming works. So now, in this video, we will see one new concept. Its name is namespaces. So namespaces is a communication channel. As you can see in the description on socket IO website, so they have given a nice little documentation also with a diagram. So as you can see here, you can see there are two different sections. One is client side, another one is server side, and both of them having a namespace. So now what this namespace concept means is whenever we create a different routes in any website, let's say I have this abc.com website open. Currently I'm at root or home section. So if I want to go into another section, let's say browse so as you can see the route has changed so that means they have simply divided their implementation logic into different folders or maybe different files so that it is easy for them to write logic for each single section so the same way in a socket we can also divide our entire socket logic into different or multiple sections so that's what we call a namespaces so as you can see here we only connect our client to server with a single channel but on server side or maybe on client side we can divide that logic into multiple namespaces so as you can see they have given these default and then the admin namespace so the question might have arise in your mind like what's the benefit of using different routes in a socket it is because most of the times we require different users so sometimes admin can only access that particular feature so that we can add admin login or admin authentication so which makes easier to divide the code logic let's see what all the benefits we get with the help of the first benefit benefit we already discussed we get authentication we can apply authentication on each step so that if any confidential information is there we can avoid giving access to some unauthorized person okay so if you scroll it a little bit down you will get to see that there are different types of namespaces when we connect our socket in default so that is nothing but we are at home or root section in that case our namespace name will be this just simple forward slash okay and then we can add custom namespaces also for sure and here they have given an examples how we can make use of it so let's see this in the action uh, this namespace concept is really simple we'll see that in the examples so here we are at our code and as you can see here we have used some socket connections and we are sending that request to the server. So now in order to create a new namespace we just have to go inside our so server.js file. Okay so now in order to create a new namespace we just have to create another variable let's say namespace 1 is equal to and then we have to use this connection object so this will be io and then whatever the name you want you want to give to that namespace so i'm giving it a name let's say jhm all right once you're done with this you can use pretty much the same logic what you have done for the previous root namespace so here i'm copying this let me quickly put this here and i just have to change this name by the created variable name Okay, with this way we will get access to our namespace connection so as soon as any user connected to our namespace will get notified here so let me quickly put this console user connected to namespace one okay and on the client hand side we just have to use this same logic but now this time we'll have to change the route and the route will be the name of your namespace okay namespace one okay so let me make a copy of terminal so now we have two different terminals 
let me quickly execute our server file we got some error saying that io is not a function okay so so we are missing out something in syntax so if i scroll it a little bit down so this is the way we can add a new namespace so my syntax was wrong previously so io dot off will create new namespace for you so if i re-execute this okay our server is running so let me quickly start client file okay so with this way you can see here we got this message saying that user connected to namespace one so if i simply remove this line of code and let me clear our console a little bit okay so now if i re-execute this as you can see we haven't got this message because now the client is connected to our root namespace not the namespace which we have created with this way you can create multiple namespaces and you can manage your logic inside of it so now let me give you another scenario where you will require this namespace so let's say now you are creating a game where you often see that whenever we join any particular server they give us four different options so all those provide the same service but you have four options and you can choose any random server so this is because if you you have applied entire logic on that particular server itself and you are taking entire traffic on that server so it means at some point of time there is high chances that your server might crash due to the lot of traffic so now you have to handle this traffic so the one way is to handle traffic is to divide that logic into different parts namespace certainly helps you doing that if you want to segregate your entire game logic let's say your player logic will be in one namespace all the game related numeric values such as score of that particular player will get updated in another namespace so it will help you to implement those logic as well as it will help you to manage server load so this is the main logic behind using namespace so i hope you understand this video this an entire implementation and events will remain the same as we saw in our previous video just have to change the name of socket by the namespace and now this entire logic will be applicable to this namespace also so again the entire namespace is same as what we done in our previous video so there will be no change in implementation of events and all so i hope you understood this video thank you very much for watching see you in the next video bye